Welcome back to Nay, everybody. I am Dawn Samuelson, and I'm here with you today to talk to you about my own emotional coat. As we spoke last time, I had developed a program called Taking Off the Emotional Coat. And I feel that every one of us has an emotional coat. I'll give you a little example of mine. I feel that every coat, or at least my coat, has many patches that are on the coat. One of which is when I was a young child, about eight years old, my mother passed away from cancer. So that is a loss or a patch on my coat. I've also had a sister who was in the Air Force. She had taken her life while in the military. She succumbed to suicide. That is another patch on my coat. Another patch would be my young son, our second child, Ryan, had actually been diagnosed with a rare form of a rare disease called autosomal recessive polycystic kidney disease. Another patch on my coat. Not long after that, I actually had a brain tumor and I had surgery undergoing to remove that tumor. Another patch on my coat. Each of those patches we will talk about throughout our series but I will start out with one of the patches, which is about my son, Ryan. Ryan was, of course, diagnosed with a rare disease at a very young age. It was devastating to us. That first word that was uttered, your son has a disease. And I remember that word disease going through my head. Obviously, there was a lot of issues that dealt, that, that surrounded that whole um, time in our life. Ryan has undergone four organ transplants, uh, three of which were cadaveric, or I'm sorry, three of which were living related, which meant that three people gave a piece of their body to give life to Ryan. One was a cadaveric, which also means that one person passed away and the organs were donated to Ryan to survive. That in itself, is a whole nother story. But as you can see, this was a patch that was very difficult for me throughout my life, dealing with Ryan after spending 10 years in Children's Hospital of Pittsburgh. I learned a lot during that time. I learned about a lot about God being with me when so many other people could not. I watched my son go through the struggles every day with being able to uh, just survive. I got to see doctors and nurses and their emotional coats and how they were affected by my son and people around us. I also was able to experience the overwhelming exhaustion from many of the doctors and nurses and their emotional coats sometimes came across as very condescending or angry. As I developed this program in the hospital, I realized that they too are suffering with an emotional coat that may be too heavy for them at times. And they're doing the best they can with the coat that they're carrying. So as I realized that, I had learned not to be so reactive to someone when they're dealing with their own emotional coat. It gave me the ability to step back for a minute and recognize that it may not even be about me. It may be their own issue. So as you can see, the emotional coat has many patches and yours may have its own style, color, or, or uh, weight, depending on your own life and what you've been through. What I challenge you with is, can you take the time and think about what might be on your own emotional coat that makes it up to what you wear today? What does it look like? What does it weigh? What are some of the things and the thoughts and the feelings surrounding those patches that you wear each day? And realizing that your zipper is actually your timeline. It is the time when you're born to the date today. And each tooth of those of that zipper, you have maybe teeth that are very difficult to deal with. For instance, the four organ transplants may be teeth on my zipper, but with each of those transplants, 
there's so much good that goes along with it. Those people that were healthy enough to be able to give an organ, those doctors and nurses that specialized in that area to be able to work through a transplant that was extremely difficult. The people that were in the hospital that were just serving food with a smile on their face. The little blessings that are around us every day that we take for granted. I have been able to realize that with every zipper of every coat, there's always going to be good and bad. And without the teeth, good and bad, the zipper does not work as its function, to, it's, as it's intended. That's what's kind of neat about the emotional coat, is that when we look at things that are really tragic or bad in our lives, take the time to step back and look at the beautiful things surrounding that. The amount of people that come out of the woodwork to help in a tragedy. The, the, the weather, whether it's snowing or whether it's, it's raining or shining down on you, it's another day that we're able to breathe and live this life and do God's work. I think that each of us have the ability, no matter what we've gone through, once we recognize that it's a coat and it can be removed, it doesn't have to be our identity. I'm not just a mom of a transplant patient. I'm Dawn Samuelson, and I'm tough, and I've gone through a lot. And I can understand what you may be going through. That's what's made my program strong because I have lived it. I know what I did to be able to work through. I reached out to people and surrounded me with good, uh, godly people. And I have surrounded myself with people that can build me up. The times that I haven't, I've also really took a step back and looked at those times and realized that that had to happen in my life as well. Because each of those times, again, make us who we are today. And it's something to be proud of. You can be proud of your emotional coat. You may not be happy with the patches that, that are on that coat, but you should be proud of the coat that you wear. It is part of who you are, but it does not have to be your identity. And we have the ability to unzip it and set it aside to build healthy and strong relationships, not only with our friends and family, but with, with God. And I think that when we're able to do that, it gives us the ability to reach out and help others. So that is my message for today. And I look forward to talking to you further about other patches on the emotional coat. So stay tuned. <music>